Hey, everybody. What's going on? You guys doing all right? Okay. I hope you're all doing very well. So today I have a really fun video for you guys. The other day I learned how to play a new card game. You guys want to play along and learn how to play? Yeah? All right. I was hoping you would. My mom actually showed me how to play this game, so uh, it's a lot of fun, and she was so excited. My wife and I went to visit her the other day, and she wanted to teach us how to play. So, uh, yeah, a lot's been going on with my mom over the last few months, so I thought I'd just fill you guys in a little bit. But uh, this game's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's called Kings in the Corners, or Four Kings in the Corners, and um, it's a lot like solitaire. It's the, the same concept that solitaire has. But uh, you guys know solitaire. You just play with one player. But uh, kings in the corner, you can play with two or three or four players, how, however many players you want. So it's a lot of fun. And uh, um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to play that. Yeah, a while back, my sister and I, we had to move my mom into a nursing home. So um, just a lot been going on over the last few months. Um, she's doing good, though. She's just, uh, you know, getting older, and she's going to be 93 years old this year. Can you believe that? Wow, 93. But um, because of the move and everything, um, we had to sell my mom's house. So, um, you know, that's the house I grew up in. So she's had it for over 60 years, and uh, there was just so much stuff we needed to clean out of there and, and you know, get it ready for, you know, the sale and whatnot. So, but, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's uh, Plus, things are really crazy at work. So, you know, I was going over there and, and trying to clean stuff out and then going to work for 10, 11, 12 hours and just doing the same thing day after day. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's all taken care of. Everything's good. And, and uh, my wife and I went to visit my mom, and, and uh, she was so excited. She had this new card game to teach us. So I'm going to teach it to you guys today. So uh, this is um, Four Kings in a Corner from uh, Binaural Eats Mom. So it ought to be a really fun video. I hope you guys like it. So, um, let me just take one second here and check these mics and make sure everything's okay. Move that in a little bit. And tip that up. That one looks good. The cable looks good. All right. Oh, what happened to this one? Tell you what, let's take a minute and we'll shuffle them up real good. I tell you what, I think I'm I think I'm gonna count the cards actually, because when I was picking my cards up off the table over there, they they fell off onto the floor. So I want to make sure I have enough. So um, plus I thought it would be relaxing for you guys. So there should be 52 cards here. So let's let's count them up real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so that should be half of them. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. There we go. We have them all. So hopefully you guys are nice and relaxed now. I tell you what, I found so much cool stuff over at my mom's house. I brought a lot of it home, so I'm going to share some of this stuff with you guys in future videos. Just, you know, 
Yeah, everything in that house is just so old. It's just crazy. I'm talking 50, 60, 70-year-old stuff. My mom loves to sew, and she had these two uh, really old Singer sewing machines. Uh, one of them's from 1904, and the other one's from 1906. So, I mean, it's just, and they still work, too. They're just, you know, considered antiques now. But, uh, yeah, you could just plug them right in and start sewing if you wanted to. But, um, all right, so... Um, Real quick before I get started, I just want to say that I hope all of you watching are safe and healthy and your family and loved ones are too. And uh, thanks for all the wonderful comments you send me all the time. I have absolutely hands down the most loving, supportive comment section on all of YouTube. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, uh, yeah, four kings in the corner. I'm going to teach you guys how to play. Uh, so just give me one second. I'm going to switch the camera around and we'll get started. All right, here we go. This is so much fun, you guys. I just love playing cards. Especially when you learn a new game, it's even better. I'll shuffle them up one more time. There we go. So like I said earlier, you can play this game with two players or three or it really doesn't matter it's uh just each player is gonna get seven cards so in this first game i'm just gonna go through the basic rules and i'm just gonna pretend like i'm playing with three players okay so we're gonna deal out seven cards to each player so here we go one two three four five Six, seven. Okay, let me just slide these off to the side for a second because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the remaining deck in the middle and then we're going to turn up four cards. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And that's your basic deal. Okay. So since I dealt, it's going to be the player to my left, which would be basically right over here. And um, they're going to pick up their cards, and they have to draw a card from the pile. That's the first thing they do is draw a card. Okay. And then they, they can look at their cards. And I'm just going to hold these up like this so you guys can see them at home and just uh, try and play along now earlier i said it's just like solitaire and it is so what we want to do is see if we can play one of these cards on any one of these cards um, and you see right here this eight we're going to put it on the nine just like in solitaire because it's one lower and it's an alternating color so a black nine gets a red eight and then we'll just keep going with this this player's hand until they can't play any more cards. So let's see if we can do anything else. So let's see. Oh, uh, now see, you can also take from the table. So see, this black seven is going to play on that red eight. And just like that. Now we have a blank space here, and we can fill that in with any card from our hand. So here's a little tip for you guys. When you're filling in a blank space, if you have any uh, runs in your hand of like two or three separate cards that you can play back to back, that's what you want to do. So here's a perfect example. I'm going to play this black four right there because I also have the red three to go with it. See how that works. So now I'm just going to keep going until I run out of play. So let's see if we have anything else. I hope you guys can see that okay. All right, so I'm just going to go around the table here, the, the stacks, and see what I need. So I need a black two for that, which I don't have. A red six, which I don't have. 
a red five. No, no red five or a red two, which I don't have. Okay, so that's it. So when you can't play anymore, you just say, I pass. So it's the next player's turn. So now we'll, we'll pick up our cards. And don't forget to draw one from the pile. Okay, so that's what we have over here. So here, let's just take a look. You guys help me out here. We'll see if we have any plays. Mm -hmm. I see one play already. You guys see anything? Yeah, that's what I see right there. Red 2 goes on the black 3. Let's see. Yep, here's another 2. Black 2 on the red 3. Okay, so I really can't do anything there. I need a red 6 for that. A red 5, yes. There's a red 5. Now, here we go again. I'm going to use this uh, stack from the table. I'm going to move this over because the black 4 can go on the red 5. Just like that. Okay. Then I have another blank space here. And again, I'm looking for any cards where I might be able to play, you know, two or maybe even three cards out of my hand. So you guys see anything that I can play? Yep, exactly. We're going to play the nine with the eight. And I don't think I can play anything else. No, nope. so that's it for this hand. So they'll have to pass. All right, so now it's my turn. So I'm going to draw my card from the deck. And let's see what we get here. Ooh, here we go. This is why it's called Kings in a Corner, because now I have a king. And that's going to go in the corner, just like that. And now we're going to count down from... The king through the, the ace would be the lowest. See, if I had a red queen, I would put that right there. All right, so let's just go through and see if we have any plays. Yep, here's one. Red six on the black seven. Let's see, do we have anything else? Let's see, I need a black seven for that. Red queen. Boy, <laughs> I'm not doing very good. Black five. I don't have that. I need an ace or an ace. Wow. All right, I don't have anything, so I'm going to have to pass. And now we'll just keep going, and the, the whole object of the game is to, to run out of cards. So let's just see who's going to run out first. So here we go. I have to draw from the deck. Wow, look at that. There's my red queen for the king. And the black jack. Let's see what else we have. I need a red ten to go there. Black five. Nope. Okay. So this player is out of move, so they'll pass. Let's see what we get over here. Wow, they've only got three cards left. <laughs> Let's see what we get. All right, doesn't look very good. This is one of those games where you might go a, a couple rounds and nobody has anything, then all of a sudden... You know, it's like one play after another, so let's see, eight. I wish I had a red five. That way I could play both of those. All right, I'm going to have to pass, or this player would pass. Now it's my turn. I have to draw from the deck. 
There we go. There's an A, so we're going to put that there. Look at that. All I need is a black queen somewhere, so I've got the jack, 10 and 9. I still don't have any other plays, so I need a black 7, red 10, black 5, which I don't have. All right, so I'll have to pass. Let's see what this player gets. Ten. <laughs> Looks like the same thing. We need to get these kings in the corners and then we'll be okay. Let's see. Yeah. Nothing for that player. All right, so they'll have to pass. Let's see what this player gets. Let's draw our card. Three. <laughs> That's not going to do any good because we have a black three there. Yeah, pass. Or just keep going until somebody runs out of cards. Hopefully you guys are nice and relaxed now. About ready for a nap. Let's see what we get. Six. <laughs> I got another six over there, so that's not going to do us any good. All right, we'll just keep going. Draw from the pile, queen. That's not going to do us any good because we don't have our kings here yet. <laughs> this is terrible, so they'll have to pass. I think we should probably be getting some kings here pretty soon. All right, so there's a seven. Black seven on the red eight. And I think that's it for this player. Yep, they'll have to pass. There we go, I'm gonna draw my card. Okay, so this is a little better for me because I've got the red six, black five. Now hopefully we'll be able to start making some plays with some of these other players too. I think that's it for me though. Yep, I'll have to pass. Let's draw and see what we get four. There we go. This is looking better. So we got the red four. And we'll put the black three and the two on the four. Now I'm going to take one of these queens. I'm going to take a black queen here and put it there since I have two of them. Actually, no, I didn't see that. I'm going to take the ten and the nine and put there. Yeah, that way I can use two cards. I still have all these queens, but there's not much I can do until we get the kings. Let's see, and I need a black eight for that red seven. I don't have that. Let's see what this player gets. Draw from the pile, two. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, let me just double check this to make sure because we've had a lot of plays over the last couple of hands. So let's see, red 10, black 5, 6 goes on a 7. Ah, there we go. There's an 8. And I think that's about it. Okay, so they'll have to pass. Let's check my hand and pick one up. Finally, there's a king, <laughs> but I don't have any queens to go with it. That's just crazy. So let's see, I need a red 10 for that. Black 5, red 7. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to pass to... Hopefully you guys can see those cards okay. Alright, let's so scoot those off to the side a little bit. Let's see what this player is going to get. Gonna draw from the deck. Alright, so this, this player has all kinds of plays there. So we've got the ace on the two. I'm just trying to hold these cards down so you guys can see them really good. And then I've got the king here, so I'm going to take one of these queens and put right there. Ooh, there's a 10, 9, 8. Here's my red 7 for that. Okay, so let me just... I'm just going to hang on to these so I, I, I don't mix them in with the pile there. But see, now I'm going to take the 6 and put it on that 7. I'm just going to move all these over. Excellent. I'm going to try and scoot them up a little bit so you guys can see everything. Okay, and then I'm going to fill the blank space there with a, another queen. All right, so this player's down to just one card. So I need a red 10 for that. Okay, so this player will have to pass with their one card. And let's see what we get here. I'm going to draw from the deck. Ten. Okay, let's see here. Yep, there we go. Ten goes on the jack. And I'm going to move all of these over. Nine, eight, seven, six on the ten. Now I'm going to take this four, three, and play those because that takes two cards out of my hand. And the two, that's three cards. There we go. And the jack was on the queen. Now all I need is a red four. Do we have a red four anywhere? No, but let me let me just check everything over because Ooh, this is so close. Four and three, two. Nope, I I can't do anything with this player, so they're gonna have to pass with one card less. So see, now we're getting down to each player with one card, and I still have all these in my hand. But that's okay because I could change at any second. So let's draw. Jack. Yeah, here we go. Jack. Ten. Nine. Mm, darn it. Let's see. Nope, I can't do anything. I really need a red seven. This four would go on a red five. Oh, this is tough. Gets gets a little tricky at the end because there's so many different plays that you could make, but I'm gonna have to pass, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a, we need those other kings. So there's an ace. It goes on the two. And they're going to have to pass with the queen. Let's see what we get here. Three. And a draw from the deck. Ten. Yep, this player won because watch what's going to happen here. So I still have the three, but the black nines here. So I'm going to take this whole stack 
and move it over just like this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ace. Then I'll take my last card and put it right there. So this player's the winner. Okay, pretty cool, huh? It's a pretty challenging game. Yeah, my wife and I and my mom, we sat around for hours the other day playing this game. My mom's doing great, too, by the way. She's just, uh, like I said, she's getting older. Um, but she has a really good time there where she's at. And uh, she has a lot of really close friends. And they play cards every day. And they play bingo. And there's all kinds of special events that they have there. And um, there's this big, giant fish tank with beautiful fish in it. And she'll, she'll uh, wheel herself down there in a wheelchair and just watch the fish for hours. She just loves fish. She had them for years at her house. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy she ended up there because, you know, some places when you get older, they're, they're not as nice as the, the place that she's at now. They really take care of her, and that really makes me happy. Okay, so you guys want to play one more now that we got all the, the basic rules out of the way? Yeah? Okay, we'll do one more. I, I was thinking about doing four players, but I, I think that might be too much, so we'll just stick to, to three players. That last game seemed like it took a long time, but uh, usually it doesn't take that long. But uh, see, what happened there was we didn't get all four of our kings in the corner, so I'll go ahead and deal them out, and we'll, we'll try again with three players. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of scoot these cards off to the side a little bit because we're going to put the deck right in the middle just like that. And then we're going to flip up four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, again, since I dealt, there's going to be this player across from me. So let's see what they get. And then we're going to draw from the pile there. Okay. I'm going to spread these out real good so you guys can see them. So let's see. I guess we should check the table first and see if anything plays, which it does. We have the red 8 on the black 9. And look at this. I have three cards that I can play all back to back. So we're going to fill in this empty space here with a seven, six, five. And then we've got the 10 on the jack there. And I think that's it. So let's see here. I need some kings for the queens to play. And let's see. I need a black four, red nine. Okay. So this player will have to pass. Let's see what this one gets. Let's draw our card. There we go. Wow, look at that. We got kings and queens and jacks, all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. That's the way to start a game. So we got the king, queen, Jack. Let's see. Move these over here so you guys can see them really good. All right. 
right, so let's take a look and see if we have anything else that's going to play. All right, you guys see anything else? Ah, uh, here we go. Four on the five. I think I'm just going to go around the table here and just double check everything. So I need a black four, which I don't have. Red nine. Red three. Ten. Okay, so I think this player is going to have to pass. You guys make sure and let me know if I miss anything. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just double check this here. All right. So let's see what I get. Draw my card. Wow, this doesn't look very good. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see something. <laughs> here we go. Nine. Eight. Okay. And then we're going to move all of these over. Because we got the red seven for the eight. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Seven goes on the eight. Four on the five. Let's see. And I'm going to go four, three. Ooh, this is going to be close. Maybe I'll win this one. So I need a red two, red three. Okay, I'm going to have to pass now. All right, let's uh, scoot these up just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see everything okay. All right, so it's this player's turn. Let's draw our card. All right, let's see what we get. I still need these kings. Now oh, here's a two. We can play that. Let's see. I think that's about it for this player. Four. Yeah. That's it. So they're going to have to pass. Here we go. Draw from the deck. All right. Let's see what we get. Looks like this this game here is going pretty much the same way the last one went. You, I think you get to a point where there's each player needs like one or two cards and they can possibly go out. So I think I'm stuck here, but let's double check. Red three. Red ten. Red six. Yeah. So they would have to pass. Here we go. It looks like I'm I'm in the lead here. I have to draw my card. Let's see what we get. Ace. <laughs> yeah, that does us absolutely no good. So I'm going to have to pass. Let's see what we get over here. Ten. There we go. This is better. So now we've got our 10, and we're going to take these and move them over, just like that, because it's a black 9 on the red 10, and let's see, shoot, I wish I had some, a couple cards I could play, but I only have one, so I'm going to do... I'm going to play a high card there. Let's take one of those queens. Okay, and then they'll have to pass. Let's draw our card. Shoot. 
shoot, I missed a play on that last hand. So, see, they, they could have took that red jack and put it here. But I, I guess it doesn't really matter since they, they missed it. Now this player has a red jack. And they don't have anything else they can really play right away. So we'll just put that there. You guys were probably yelling at me about that. So let's see, we need a red three, red six, three, black ten. Uh, they'll have to pass. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I have to draw my card. So I have the ten. And that looks like that's going to be about it. Ten. Yep. I really need to get a red three. That way I could play the two and the ace. All right, so I'm going to pass. Let's see what we get. There we go. There's a king. It's not going to really do us too much good because I have a, a black queen here and a black queen there. Yeah, nothing I can do. Pass. Draw from the deck. There we go. There's another king. So now I'm going to move these over. Okay. Now there's a nine. And I'm going to play the ten right there. See, we're getting down to the very end here. It's going to be another close game. Uh, nothing else I can do. Pass. Now it's my turn. Draw from the deck. Okay, I've got the eight. Nine. Ooh, if I just had a red three, I'd be able to go out. Let me just double check everything. King six. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Pass. Let's see what we get over here. Ace. There we go. Ace will go on that two. Nope, nothing else they can do, so they'll have to pass. Draw from the pile. Ooh, we got eight, seven. Let's see, I need a black three for that somewhere, which I don't have. Yeah, nothing they can do there. Pass. Ooh, if I get a red three. Come on, red three. <laughs> Another two. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Wow, this is going to be close. Let's see what we get here. Draw from the deck. Okay, we've got the six. I can play here. And then we're going to put the five and the four. All right, sorry you guys. My battery just went dead on my camera right in the middle of the game. Can you believe that? But um, let's see, where were we? That's okay. So I was getting ready to make a play here on this, this blank space. So I've got the six and the five. Look at this. Perfect timing. 
And then I'll play my last card right there. All right. <laughs> I knew my battery was getting low and I thought I was going to make it, but that's okay. But yeah, that's it. So that's how that's how it's done, you guys. So it's so much fun, especially if you get a big group of people. Um, if you guys decide that you want to try it, let me know in the comments. I always like hearing about stuff like that. So yeah, it's just so much fun. There we go. Yeah, that's just, uh, I don't know, I think about stuff like that a lot sometimes. Like, I didn't know anything about this game, uh, Kings in the Corners, until my mom showed me. And uh, now I can show it to you guys, and you can show all your family and friends. Just neat how stuff like that works. So I think that's going to be about it for the day. Um, thanks for hanging out with me for a while. That was a lot of fun. Um, definitely let me know if you try and play it. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I haven't done a video in a while. I've just been so busy with my mom and dealing with the house and all that, but everything's taken care of. So now hopefully I can get back to making some, uh, videos for you guys on a regular basis. Okay. But, um, as always, thanks for spending some time with me. Uh, thanks for subscribing. I've gotten so many new subscribers over the last few months. It's just amazing. I'm getting closer and closer to that 100,000 mark. So I really appreciate your support. And thanks for all the wonderful comments you send me. I, I read each and every one of them. Uh, I get a lot of comments these days too, but it's a real bright part of my day. So keep them coming, okay? All right, you guys stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.